緒でーす。ほら、頑張れ、頑張れ、先輩。OK, OK, 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 OK! Oh, you guys ready? Oh, I'm so fucking ready. I. Ooh, I am so ready. I have my. uh, I. 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 I, I it's the morning right now. I just did the laundry. And the entire morning. Okay, so I woke up. I, I woke up. And I was chilling. And I scrolled through Instagram for like a few minutes. And then I worked out. And then I did the laundry. I ate some food. I prepared my yerba mate.、Um, and I, the entire time, I was literally just thinking about the game. Just thinking about the game and how I could fucking beat it today. I'm going to beat this game today. If I don't beat this game today, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself, genuinely.、Um, but I'm going to beat this game. I want to beat this game. Yeah, I'll say that. I want to beat this game. And hopefully, my drive will actually let me beat this game today. Because this has been taking up my mind, like my mind capacity for the past few days. And I can't not think about it throughout my days. And it's just driving me crazy. So I need to finish this game because this game is crazy. I read some of your comments.、Uh, I read, well, I read all your comments. I responded to all your comments. One comment in particular made me actually audibly gasp out loud. Because at the very end, it, it said, the comment said, like, all the texts will tell you why, how, and, and when this whole 22 minute interval of a time loop started and why it's still happening. And that blew my fucking mind because I read, I read in the game, like, genuinely in the game, there was a, there was a theory or a scientist, a, a nomai saying, like, hey, how,、uh, what if we、uh, did this?、Um, How, how, well, how, do we, how do we make a 22 is, there, is it possible to make a 22 minute interval for, the, for like to go somewhere or something like that? It was like, I don't know. It was okay. I need to stop gushing because I want to finish this over. But yeah, I prepared my Yerba Mate.、Um, I switched to Yerba Mate recently because、um, one, I, I drink coffee whenever I edit, guys. Because if you can't tell, I have ADHD and I have the kind of ADHD where if I intake caffeine, I don't actually get tired. I actually just get more riled up. So, what, especially when I want to record with high energy or, I, want, or I, I need to edit, I usually drink coffee and I usually drink a lot of coffee just to keep focused and to keep editing. But that's not really healthy in the long run. Um, even though, like, I, I just drink the coffee and there's not like any sugar or any milk or anything in there, it's just the black coffee. Even, even though that, 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 that's technically healthy, like a cup of black coffee every day could be healthy, I wanted to switch something more healthier, more healthier, more healthy. And I, I found Yerba Mate, and it's, it's a tea, which I love. Tea is way better than coffee, but it's also like, like a really good energizer as well. And I read up about it. Uh, I know a couple of stuff, a little bit of stuff from like different kinds of strains like Argentina, Paraguay, like Uruguay, and like Brazil and stuff, stuff like that. Like, I know that they're different, like cut, st-、uh, uh, cut yerba.、Um, and yeah, I'm trying it out and it's fucking delicious, by the way.、Uh, there's actually a video of me、uh, making it, so、uh, I, I, I'll just put it right now. So, I actually have it right here. Here's my yerba mate thingy. Shout out yerba mate lab. <clears throat> This is where I, where I found it from.、Um, This guy right here. I'm not sponsored at all, but.、Uh, Basically, I love tea. Tea is like my favorite thing in the world.、Um, so, but I also really need caffeine at the same time because, like, I'm pretty busy in my life. Like, I'm obviously editing hella these episodes, and these episodes take hella to like edit in itself. So, I need caffeine, and I can't keep drinking coffee because my coffee order is like a quad blonde、uh, Americano with an extra shot at Starbucks, and that shit, it tastes good. But that shit wrecks me. Like, after like, the caffeine wears off, I just like, die. But basically, this is the,、um, the, uh, the gourd that I'm supposed to pour the mate in. I already put the,、um, uh, or the yerba in. I already, put, I already cured it. You see how it's like, I don't know if you see that. Can you see that? Do you see that? Am I showing it correctly? I don't know. But it's like kind of green everywhere.、And、that's because I already cured it. And the way I cured it is I basically I rubbed vegetable oil on, around it, around the,、uh, the surface of it. And then I put、uh, the yerba inside, and then I, I steeped it for basically like two or like five hours, I think, while I was at work.、Um, so basically, that's why it's all like green and stuff like that. So it's、uh, already cured and everything. Here's my、uh, bombilla right here. Usually, I'd wash this before I use it, but I'm, I'm pretty excited to do this. So 
So this is what it looks like. That's what it looks like right here. I don't know if you see that. I know I know I have some viewers in South America right now. So if I'm making this wrong, you tell me I'm making it wrong. I don't want to make a fool out of myself, you know what I'm saying? Fill it with half of the yerba. And then you do this little thingy, and you shake it onto one side. So you can make like a mountain. But basically the idea is that you need to make a mountain so that one side stays dry the entire drinking process. Well, not the entire drinking process, but for the majority of the drinking process because you like slowly, slowly add, okay, that might be sacrilegious. I'm not gonna do that. Um, you slowly, slowly add the yerba, uh, add dry yerba to the mix. So he did it like this. So I'm gonna put it right there. And then now, I have my hydro flask of hot water. Not hot, hot, but hot. I'm gonna pour it right there. Oh, oh. Oopsies, unlucky. <laughs> okay, well, that's fine, I guess. Take my bombilla, scoop it to one side. My, my mate is a gourd, so there's like something on the bottom. There's like a little thing on the bottom that I have to be careful of. Because if you move it or destroy it, it destroys the actual whole thing. And here we go. And then I have to put it over like that. And then... Hot. I just spilled it all over my hand. Ow! I think I did it. <clears throat> that probably looks so sacrilegious. I, uh, should I show you guys? That looks very sacrilegious. Let me just close my yerba thing here real quick. <laughs> But yeah, basically, oh, you don't even see it. Did you see it the entire time? Oh, I don't think you saw it. Okay, anyways, here it is right here. Um, that probably looks so sacrilegious. Um, I know that Argentinian and Paraguayan Yoruba are like different um, because, or well, all the different kinds of Yoruba are different because of uh, the way it's cut and everything like that. And Paraguayan Yoruba is like cut not as coarse or more coarse and less fine than Uruguayan and uh brazilian and apparently brazilian is like a whole different thing um i don't know i want to try it but basically you're supposed to make a mountain i didn't even really think make a mountain i'm not really good at this it's my first time but let's try it cheers mm. oh wait that shit's delicious what the fuck holy shit Wait, this is delicious. <laughs> Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait. Oh shit. Ooh. Woo Wait, that's just nice. That's just delicious as fuck. Oh my god. Okay, well that's it. That's it. That's all I really want to show you. I don't know actually what I want to do. Um on this one, I kinda wanna go to I'm gonna go back to the quantum moon because apparently I missed something. Um, cause you can put two of the same color stones together and the, the Nomai would tell you something. Okay, here we go. Look at that. I met a living Nomai named Solanum at the South Pole. The quantum moon is, um, is the eye of the universe's moon. At this location, the quantum moon becomes a reflection of the eye itself. Um... The eye is likely the source of all macroscopic quantum phenomena in the solar system. So then one knows what ha what would happen if a mis if a conscious observer were to enter the eye. Okay. Um, quantum signal. No one a quantum signal coming from somewhere on timber hearth. Um, quantum. Okay. Let's go to the timber hearth then. Hmm. over here okay what's up here Hertz research notes property of church I've said a strange signal come from somewhere within the grove in this crater it's very similar to the signal emitted by the quantum moon so it stands to reason the two signals are probably related we don't know much about the quantum moon seeing as no one's ever been able to land on it I'm the first one but uh hopefully starting the well I'm the first I'm the first uh whatever my species is called but hopefully studying the signal in the grove will reveal more about it Okay, we're going back down, and then we're going to put this up. Oh, let me close the blinds real quick. Hold up.
It's morning right now, so... I usually record in the morning. Which is why it's always fucking sunny. Fucking hate the sun. Mm. Oh, it's somewhere in there. I see it. Okay. Something over here? Nope. Okay. Yeah, something is definitely in here. Watch, I'm gonna, like, encounter a quantum beast. That'd be crazy, by the way. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have a signal nearby. Oh, it's you. Take a picture of you real quick. Okay. The quiet shade in the ancient glade. It's always dark across old... Okay, it's a puzzle. Um, the quiet shade in the ancient glade. Uh, it's always dark across old bark. So it's always dark across old bark. Oh. It's always dark across. Oh, wait, it changed. It's always dark in the ancient glade across old bark, the quiet shade. Across old bark, it's always dark in the ancient glade, the quiet shade. Across old bark, the quiet shade. It's always dark in the ancient glade. Across old, across old, okay, across old bark. I think this is right, actually. Oops. Oh, awesome. Okay. Um, okay. Across old bark, the quiet shade. It's always dark. Um, oh, there's two. Oh, no, there's one. Um, what's the puzzle here? Across old bark, the quiet shade. It's always dark in the ancient glade. Oh. Oh. Okay, I found out what's happening. This is pushing me out, right? Yep. So I go in through here then. Where's the... Okay. Let's this guy. Alright, let's go through here, I guess. Oh? Fuck is that? Whoa, 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 that's us! That's us right there! That's us! Totally, that's us! Look, four eyes! That's totally us right here. We're a species that evolved into what we are now, and the no the no matter we're here for our evolve evolve whatever evolve evolving it's the whatever coleus after closer observation mining site 2a wouldn't be safe for the native life dwelling in some of this cave's poles so unfortunately we'll have to mine one of the other sites there are uh, there are a few other cave sites that looks promising what about site 2b it shares similar formations in strata this sounds promising will you and your mentor investigate if mining site b 2b proves safe for this native species we'll move our work there Site 2B is safe. Chloe says we'll continue to monitor our activity. Uh, we'll continue to monitor, to monitor our activity and its, diff and its effect on life here. On the opposite hand, uh, hand new life. The species is semi-aquatic and very hardy. The ecosystem here is quite robust, so I believe they'll thrive in the long, ru in the long run. Be cautious near their pool if you visit 2A to meet them. They remind me of a subterranean species that my mentor, Meloray, once told me about. But when our clan... When our clan... There we go. When our clan used to travel across this universe, I imagine she would have enjoyed these life forms greatly. I was watching them once during a rest, and I was skip me. They're fascinating. I wonder what their fourth eye does. So that's definitely us. Uh, what if we go through here then? This is scary. 
Oh, just just to to here. Oh, this is a whole other place. Whoa, what's down here though? Oh, 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 oh! Is that anchovies? I'm allergic to fish. You guys didn't know that. Whoa. What's through there? Let's check this first up here. What is that? Is this over here? No fucking hell! No way! Okay, well... Fuck, go back down here. It's always dark in the ancient glade, cross black to quiet shade. Let's see what happens if I go in here. Okay, it still works. Cool. <sighs> this game is a masterpiece. Like, I, <laughs> I can already tell you. This game is a... This game rivals... Oh! Don't, 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 don't. Oh, my God. Um, this, this game rivals, like, level design akin to, like, Dark Souls. Yes, let's go! No! You're joking! Oh! Perfect! Keep going! Go, 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 go! Go, go, go! Hurry, hurry, please! Let's go! Keep going! Keep going! Keep going! Keep going! Keep going! Oh. That was stupid. Oh, wait, I have an idea, actually. Do I need to have this go in the middle here or something? Go back to my ship then. Let's read this real quick. Quantum gr Quantum Grove? Is that what I said? Quantum Grove. Found a poem written on one of the trees in the, in the gr Okay, so there's still something. It's in, 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 in the ancient glade. It's always dark. Across old bark, the quiet shade. That doesn't make sense. What about this? Does this make sense? It's always dark. Across old bark, in the ancient glade, the quiet shade. That doesn't make sense either. The quiet shade, it's always dark. In the ancient glade, across old bark. That doesn't make sense. The quiet shade across old bark in the ancient shade is always dark. Quiet shade. The quiet shade across old bark in the ancient glade is always dark. Okay, that to me makes sense. But what is it trying to say? Like. <laughs> the quiet shade across old bark. Okay, so where's some shade then? <laughs> oh! I think I know, I think I know what it's trying to do. Is there a dark place somewhere around here? What's a glade? Hold on, what's a glade? <laughs> Again, I'm pretty sure I know what a glade is. Glade is like a, a like a, a patch of forest, right? An open space, an open space in a forest. That's what a glade is. An ancient glade, an open space in the forest. The quiet shade across old bark. In the ancient glade, it's in the ancient glade. It's always dark. The quiet shade across old bark in the ancient glade. It's always dark. <laughs> It's always dark, across old bark, the quiet shade in the ancient glade. That doesn't make sense, dude. The quiet shade in the ancient glade, across old bark, it's always... Maybe this is it? Quiet shade in the ancient glade. Across old, old bark, it's always dark. I have an idea. Maybe... Yeah, maybe I have to do this. It's always dark in the ancient glade. Cross old bark the quiet shade. I don't understand. Um wish I could like just like cover my eyes, you know what I'm saying? It's always dark. Quiet shade. <laughs> yep, it's about a supernova here. 
Because I spent too much time here, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the... How to solve this puzzle. This puzzle is actually, actually like hard to like solve. Okay, before I blow up here... Before I blow up here, I'm just gonna... Read this real quick. Quantum Grove. Found a... There's a strange rock shard in the grove that means... That moves on. It misses the signal of the quantum fluctuates or fixations. Z. Okay, so I know it's a appear in multiple cases on the northern hemisphere. Sun station? Oh, yeah, okay. So then. Okay, so. Instead of time, it will between an object arriving and departing was incredibly minuscule, roughly 100,000 of a second. Normally, we're skeptical of the equipment, couldn't even measure time to such a small degree. Um. Okay, I have an idea on what I can do next. Let me refill my Ryoba. My mate. Um, I have an idea on what I can do next. I'm gonna go to Ash Twin real quick. And then we're gonna go on the sun. Cause I, I think, cause while editing, while editing, I, I saw a opening for me to get into the sun. And I wanna actually try and do that real quick. Also, I kinda wanna try and get to that thing. Okay, what? Bro, what? <gasps> right there, let's try and get to it real fast, as fast as I can. And then I read a comment that said to abort autopilot. Maybe I can get to it. When it gets to autopilot, I'm gonna abort, I'm gonna abort the autopilot. Cause this is the bro that's trying to find the eye of the universe. And I'm pretty sure it did find the eye of the universe. It's right here. Wait, I, I, I made it. Stop. Get to it, get to it, get to it. I got it. I got it. Wait, I got it. Whoa, wait. I got to it. I have the universe is on it. If I go in here? I can't. <laughs> okay. That would have been crazy if I could. Okay. So this is the probe tracking device. Trying to find the eye of the universe, right? What if I look away from it? Okay, it's still here. What if I try and destroy it? Will that do anything? Oh, wait, I have an idea. Okay. So you can't shoot anything into it. Hmm. No quantum fluctuations or anything like that. Stress begin. What else can I do with this thing? Flashlight, with that action, this action. It's a shame I can't interact with it. What if I look directly at it for like a long time? My next idea is to destroy it. Let's see what happens if I destroy it. Okay, let's destroy it. Try it again. One last time. Keep doing it. Keep going. Destroy the shit. Keep going. I'm gonna explode soon. I already exploded, I think, did I? Yep, I exploded. <laughs> okay, so seriously, like nothing, I can do nothing with this? It's kind of annoying. Oh, there goes my ship. So yeah, I can't do anything. I can just look into the abyss, I guess. Okay. Um. Let's just check it one last time, and then if I don't see anything, we'll just restart. 
But it this technically means I found the eye of the universe, right? What if I just go to where it's pointing? If I go to where it's pointing, does that mean I'll get to the eye of the universe? Will I hit an invisible wall? Why did that just get brighter? Why are those getting brighter? Hold on. Why are those getting... Um... Are those... Nah. Are those other galaxies... Are those other solar systems... Exploding? Uh, excuse me, those are other solar systems exploding. Like this one right here. They're all going supernova. That's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, I don't... Am I at the eye of the universe? Like, I don't know... I don't know where I am. Okay, um... I don't think I'm getting anywhere. Yeah, let's just... Why don't we start? My favorite thing about Yerba Mate is that it's a drink that just survives the entirety of the day. Because, especially when you're drinking tea, it lasts for like 10 minutes max. Because if you wait 10 minutes, if you wait until 10 minutes, it becomes like cold afterwards. Or at least lukewarm afterwards. The Mate, you can have like, for like forever, the entire day and it's just chilling. Okay, we're going to... We're going to... Where are we going? Yeah, we're going to the sun. Okay, actually, we're going to Ember Twin, and then we're going to Ash Twin. Because... Ash Twin's going to be covered with ash for a little bit. Didn't I read this? I read this, right? Okay, yeah, I read that. What I can do, though, is I can take this out. Put this down. Take this over here. Put this back over here. This is what I haven't read. Okay, read this real quick. Quantum Moon Locator is functioning. We have markers for each of the places the moon goes. Um, Anona Burr, I just observed the Quantum Moon or uh, in orbit around Dark Bramble. Added a marker for Dark Bramble. I thought the locator now accounted for all the fans of Moon's locations, but sometimes the locator can't tell where the moon is. Perhaps there's a problem with the device? It's also possible there exists a sixth location in this star system in which the Branson Moon travels. You have keen eyes, our friend. So this moon travels to a total of five locations, not four. Six locations, actually. Fucking idiots. Okay, we're gonna have to go north. North side, Long Beach. North, north side, side, Long, Long Beach. Beach. Didn't I already go here? I already went here. I definitely already went here, didn't I? Uh, it's whatever. Is she going, I guess? Oh. Oh. Okay, yeah, that happened. That was pretty brutal. But the north side, northmost side is with Chert, right? That's the lake bed they're talking about. I already went there. Oh, that appeared. Oh, in Emberton's northern hemisphere, not just. Okay, not the lake. I already. Okay, yeah, I already been to the lake bed cave, but I haven't been to the northern. Okay, I'm an idiot. North side, Long Beach. North, north side, side, Long, Long Beach. Beach. That's better. All right, uh, let's go in here, and then we'll. Quantum entanglement, our way to different caves. Holy shit! What is this? Oh, okay. I don't need to be here. I need to be here though. It's very, it's very dark in here. It's very dark in here. Oh no, I, I've been here before, didn't I? Very familiar travel. Sorry. Yep. Mm. Yep. Turn it off. Is this where Coleus is? I don't need that. 
where I'm at now. Just about that already. What about this? Too close. I decided to call it because you managed to let trust. Okay, I already read this as well. Okay. What about in here? I don't, I don't think I've ever been in here. I would like to hurry up though. What is it? What is this? Oh, this is this shit. Ash Twin's still pretty fucking full. Okay, what's over here? Gravity cannon. Um, no, I'm going to go over there. No, I don't need to be there. Can I start traveling to Ashton, please? Like, there's nothing else. It's almost there. I'll, I'll just go there. Why not? See, right there. It's right there. You can get into it from that. So, roll. I'm handsome. Right here. There we go. Oh. None of them are quantum. Okay. Some time has passed since I checked in with you, Pi. How are you and Idea, Idea progressing with the Sun Station uh, plans? Presently, my assessments at our plan will either fail explosively or succeed explosively. <laughs> Pi, you know I don't find that funny. <laughs> Hypothesis. Time spent away from the station would be beneficial to you both. I'm immensely interested in testing your hypothesis, Yaro. That at least we can agree on. How curious. Maybe thinks I'm a gas, and I don't recall requesting that you monitor this conservation idea. Uh, I don't see what state of matter you are you are has to do with this, and I don't recall supporting the station construction, but here we are. Fucking nerds. Okay. Um Wow, really? So I actually can't go to the sun station? You have to go to the sun station like myself. I'm assuming that's how it is. Um, oh. Oh. Okay, cool. I'm gonna try and make my way through this then. Oh my god! Yo! Okay! Wait, that was actually hype! Holy shit! I did that. I actually did that. That's actually amazing. Okay, now let's just wait for the sun. Here we go, Badu. There we go. Okay, I'm in the fucking sun right now. Alright. We go with here apparently. There we go. Uh, 281,042 years ago, no user commands received for 10 minutes, all systems entering sleep. 9 minutes, 59 seconds ago, increased solar activity detected, sun station hull integrity approaching critical levels, closing emergency doors. Opens emergency door. Oh. Holy shits. This music's epic as fuck. Woo! Nice. Okay. Anything around here? Oh! No, my staff! Hella helmets. Okay, we're reading this real quick. Uh, Pi mission. Science compels us to explode. Whoa. <laughs> Science compels us to explode the sun. Can't we change this? I don't enjoy working in view of such a morbid mission statement. Um, but it's accurate. We're going to create a supernova for the 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. But it's accurate. We're going to create a supernova for the purpose of scientific progress. That's our mission. Our mission is to decide if such an irresponsible feat is even possible. Here's a better one. Mission. Determine if it's possible to prompt the sun to explode. You lack a sense of humor. At least I don't lack a sense of ethics. And they refrain from going supernova on me before the sun does, Idea. <laughs> that was actually lucky funny by Pi. <laughs> okay, so there are... I, that's actually pretty detrimental. Their whole purpose was to destroy the sun? Okay. Why? <laughs> Future editing's eye. Little interjection right here. I think the reason why they exploded the sun is to generate the amount of power they need to start the Astrium project or at least power the 22 minute interval thing that they're talking about. But uh, that, that's my theory for now. Uh, I, I have nothing back in this. this has, that's just my intuition. <laughs> Is there another scroll up here? Oh! Statue. No one... Wait, is the eyes open? Okay, so I've only seen two of the statue's eyes open. One of mine, and then the one Gabriel saw outside of Statue Workshop. I haven't found that... Dude! But anyways, we're going back. I think I'm going to record for two, uh, two and a half hours again. Maybe even three hours, because this game is really cool. Okay, check this out. Sunstation. There's more to explore. I know there's more to explore. Sunstation was designed to make the... <laughs> the Sunstation was designed to make the sun go supernova. Alright, we're going back. Maybe I can land on the sun without even teleporting. Maybe that's a thing I can do. Should I try and do that? I'm going to try and do that. Or if I don't do that, then where else can I go? I'll rock. Hmm, actually, let's just let's do a little bit of um, this action here. What is that? Oh, it's Ash Twin. Oh, it's one an Ash Twin? Okay. Quantum Moon. Okay, let's go to the Quantum Moon real quick. Go to the Quantum Moon and then we'll go back to Ash Twin. I'm an idiot! Okay, take a picture. Okay, get out. God damn. Jesus, my vitals are critical now. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to Salanum real quick. Alright, put your shit up. Put your hands up. Alright. Now, put your shit up. Put the shit up, dog! Thank you, jeez. Okay. Apparently I could put these two together. And I could put the other two together. I didn't know that. These are the two tenets of know my philosophy. To seek out and to understand is our way of living. Okay, so let's do this guy and you guy. We do not have much connection, you and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you won't mind if I think of you as a friend. Oh, that's cute! Actually, super cute. Okay. Then let's do me and the quantum moon. Is this your first time with the quantum moon? It's my first time here. If you come here looking for answers, I hope you find them. Um, okay. Me and the eye of the universe, then. Suppose you could reach the eye of the universe. Would you try it to enter it? What do you imagine the effects of a conscious observer might be? I don't know, dog. Um... And then, that's it for me, right? So then, I'm going to do you and the quantum moon. I have an idea with this, by the way. Like many of my clan before me, I journey here to see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye. This is the closest any of us have come to seeing the eye itself. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely... A oh! That I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps our journey has reached its end. Mm, 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 mm. Quantum moon. Uh, uh, I have the universe and you. Uh, oh. Many, when I was a child, I used to believe that I was male malevolent. To have lured my clan to the star system. Only to then vanish from them so, uh, that from them so completely. 
Wait. Oh, many in my clan have believed that I called to us for a particular purpose. When I was a child, I used to believe that I was malevolent. To have lured my clan to this star system only to then vanish from them so completely. But I don't fear the eye anymore, in fact. It became my fondest hope to see the eye itself someday. But I fear this may be beyond this may be beyond my reach. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I might not be entirely high. Sorry, okay. Uh, and then now I do the eye of the universe in quantum moon. Um, I'm, I imagine you've noticed the quantum moon changes in appearance depending on which location it is currently orbiting. For instance, the moon looks quite different when orbiting Giants Deep than it does when orbiting the Hourglass Twins. Because the quantum moon clearly changes in different forms, the eye, being this moon's primary location, must be similarly malleable. From this, we can hypothesize that the eye represents extreme changeability. That said, despite its malleable nature, the quantum moon becomes locked to one specific version of itself when it is consciously observed. But what would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye? That's... He keeps saying that. I don't know what that means. What do you mean a conscious observer enters the eye? Can you... Can I... Can I just push you up there? Conscious observer. I have an idea if I just... Hold on. I have an idea if I just take a picture of it. And then... Maybe I go up into it? I'm... Something might happen. Um... We're gonna try it. Oh. Whoa, that was... Did you, did you see that? <laughs> that was strange. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, uh, I have an idea again. Let's just keep taking pictures. I'm mashing, I'm mashing, I'm mashing, I'm mashing, I'm mashing. That was strange. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is Solanum. This is definitely Solanum. He just said he might he thinks he might be dead. I I don't think I've ever played a game like this before. Genuinely. Like I played like mystery games and stuff like that, but I never played a game this innovative. And this came out in 2019, by the way. This came out like five years ago, so um, I still don't understand what the point of that is. Like, that's that's to find the eye of the universe. I went to the end of that, but nothing happened. So I'm kind of confused on that. And then while I was out there, I realized like that everything, all the stars around me were basically dying. Slanum has a hypothesis that, that she may... Oh, that's... Oh, Slanum's a girl. I didn't realize. Um, Slanum uh, has a hypothesis that she may not be entirely alive. You're not entirely alive. That's for sure. Northern Glacier. North Pole of Brittle Hollow. The North Pole of Brittle Hollow is covered in snow and ice. There's a uniquely shaped Nomai ruin on the surface. The Nomai were able to wrap warp here from the White Hole Station. This is where they first recreated warp technology. Okay. Let's go to Brittle Hollow. Still want to go to the sun again. But for now, let's go to Brittle Hollow and then go to the Hanging City. Put down put down the black hole forge and then we'll go back to brittle hollow or we'll go back to ash twin and then warp to brittle hollow so we can look at what the black hole forge is and what the shebang is all about you know what i'm saying down it's going up hello 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 So that's broken. Um, oh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, actually going crazy. I'm actually going crazy. Hello. I'm actually going crazy? I'm actually going crazy? I'm falling. I think I can actually do this. I think I can actually do this. Oh, speed on tech? Speed on tech? No! Oh my god, I can't do it. I can't do it. Okay, well, where's my ship? Hi. I'm 
dead. I'm so dead. No, I don't want to go into the black hole. I don't want to go into the black hole. Oh, right there. That's the key. That's the key right there. Hello? Oh my god! <laughs> <gasps> Down. It's coming up. It's coming up. Okay. Now I gotta find my way back to this. Not again. Not again. Not again. Not again. Not again. Back to the surface. Oh, you know what I can't. You know what I can do. 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 Watch this shit. Watch this shit. You don't. You don't know. You haven't met. You haven't met a player like me. You haven't met a player like me. Watch this shit, guys. Watch this shit. You fucking ready? You fucking ready? Ship. Brittle hollow, brittle hollow, brittle hollow, brittle hollow, brittle hollow, brittle hollow. Brittle hollow, that's. <laughs> brittle hollow, brittle, brittle hollow, right? I think so. I think so. I still don't know what the fuck uh, that thing is. Is this a no-no for, for now? <clears throat> Where is the shit coming from? Oh, I can come from this side. Nice, sir. Okay. Okay, this is Brittle Hollow. So, here we go. There we go. Nice. Nice. Perfect. Okay. Now go up here. Okay, actually, let's just walk because I don't want to risk it. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, just walk, just walk, just walk, just walk. Don't get hasty, don't get hasty. Just walk, just walk, just walk. Okay. All right, what's this shebang doodle all about? Jump. Hello? There we go. Oh, a statue. <laughs> Excuse me. Scroll. Statue that isn't binded towards anyone yet. Uh, what is this? What's gonna happen if. Hold on. What is this? Hmm. Okay. Regarding the warp towers and Ash Twin, does each tower have to be perfectly aligned with the center of the Ash Water to which it's tuned? I enjoy precision as much as the next moment, but if, for example, a tower's base were to shift even slightly, that tower might no longer align with its astral body. More accurately, I enjoy precision as much as the next moment, provided the next normal is not poke. We don't need the alignment angle to be exact. It only needs to be within five degrees of the astral body's center. Of note, this gives us a slightly longer warp window. I imagine this window will last roughly several seconds. As such, any Nomai stepping onto the warp platform during the active window will be immediately warped. We will need to be careful on the platform for the duration of the time it's active to avoid accidental teleportation. Okay. Uh, where am I taking this first black hole core? or And where am I taking the remaining cores once they're ready? All the warp towers are being constructed on Ash Twin, so the black hole cores will go there. My gratitude. In that case, Poke, Clary, I'm leaving for delivery. I'll send Yaro your regards. Okay, I'll return to the forge shortly. I'm going to catch up to Root and help him deliver the forge core to Ash Twin. I'll return to the forge shortly. I'm going to catch up to Root and help him do it. Just make sure Yaro just receives it. Of course you are. Uh, the Whitehouse cores are for the warp receivers. Each of the warp or uh, each of the six receivers are being constructed at different locations, so those deliveries will be a greater pain in your cervical spine. The tower designs in the high energy lab on Ember Twin reveal 
Tower designs in the high lab on number twin reveal each receiver's location as you are he's familiar with them. Get the shit out. It's right here. Whoa, whoa, it's broken. Oh, it's broken. It is broken. Okay. I don't know what the fuck that is. Oh, that's the astral body. Um, okay. Of note, Yara believes he spotted a flaw in the warp tower designs, namely that one of the warp towers on Ashton will never activate because the warp receiver will never align overhead. Does a romantic interest think a warp tower's alignment point is its receiver? Does he not know that a warp tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body? <laughs> that isn't an un uh, unreasonable belief, given the receiver does doesn't does have to be located on or in close orbit around the relevant astral body. No, Yara understands the distinction. He likely doesn't. Uh, he likely doesn't realize the hourglass twins are so close together they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point in between them. I seem to recall that was your understanding of work technology at first. Astral projection stone. I think I can put this up here, right? Oh, what the fuck was that? Okay, I can put this up here, I believe. Yep, I can put this over here. Let's look at it first. Ashton Prediction Stone. I'm just gonna see the people. Yep, so one, two, three. It's still one, two, three. Ash Twin Projection So this is somewhere in Ash Twin? Ash Twin? Really? Okay. Go. I have good news, y'all. You, you, the advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Ash. Central chamber of Ash. Twin. No, it isn't. Uh, is everything well at the forge? Um, the core is ready. Could still be improved. Any more time? Don't worry, love. Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinary, and her design work is pretty clever. Ignore her, y'all. The core is finished, and if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here working on the Ash bar has got to see it. Pi is beside herself with joy. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna warp back. I'm gonna drink some uh, mate real quick. Don't worry guys, I'm really used to playing with one hand. Amazing. Okay, Ash Twin, Ash Twin, Ash Twin, Ash Twin. It's Timber Hearth. Wait, where does Timber Hearth go to? Oh, Timber Hearth is... Yeah, where does Timber Hearth go to? Timber Hearth, Timber Hearth. Where is this gonna take me? I know it's Timber Hearth, but like where in Timber Hearth, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I have seen a warp core in Timber Hearth. I have, actually. I remember seeing it like in the very first of my playthrough. Uh, for, for, uh, very, for, uh, very, like the second episode or the third episode of the playthrough. I remember seeing it. I think I know where I'm gonna go if I go here. After here, we're gonna go to the sun if the center isn't revealed yet in Ash Twin. Here we go. Yeah, I remember. I remember seeing this. What's over here? Grove shard. Ow. Anything in here? Doesn't look like it. I don't need to be here. Cool. Alright, is the center being seen now? Ooh, very close, very close. I almost fell. That would have been horrible. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go to the sun real quick. Hopefully, the sun station isn't destroyed. Okay, and I'm gonna parkour. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Dude. You're <sighs> God damn it. The Nomai learned how to evade Anglifers theoretically at least by studying an Anglifish also an Ember Twin. Alright. 
Let's just go to Ember Twin. I'm going too fast. Okay, keep that on. Tempest Stone Cave. Fucking broke it again. God damn it. I know this is it. Stone cave. Over there. Right here. God damn it. God damn it. Cool. Whoever was it when we whoever was it when we ended last time is the anglerfish. Rule change: the anglerfish now has to wear a blindfold and do not peek. Why are we changing it? It's too hard if you can't see anything. Aunt Pie says real anglerfish are blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. The rule stands. Rule update: It's okay if young younger kids don't wear the blindfold when they're it. The rest of us will still wear it for scientific accuracy and to make the game even more even. The rest of us, the little anglerfish line up against one wall. When the anglerfish set, okay. The rest of us, the little angler, little fish line up against one wall. When the anglerfish says go, the little fish sneak across to the other side. If the anglerfish catches you, you're eaten. Last anglerfish to be caught is a new anglerfish. The little anglerfish is the new anglerfish is blindfolded because of the little fish. Okay, so they're blind. Uh, anglerfish study. Visually, the specimen temp uh, appears to be one of the same species as the anglerfish d uh, in Dark Bramble. We don't believe it originated from this planet. The long growth protruding from its head is bioluminescent. Perhaps it is used it uses growth to attract prey. Alert! This anglerfish digest attract suggests death by starvation. Uh, an update. Melray, while I was here making sketches of the anglerfish, I observed the children I saw earlier playing here again. They added a rule to the game that incorporates our research. It's wonderful. I'm entirely done. It's never too early to appreciate biology. That's cute. Okay. Sick. Wonderful. Okay. Where's my ship at? Over there? I got you. We're going to Dark Bramble then. So they're blind, so they... So then I'm assuming they react to hella sound. Like, hella sound. Okay. I have an idea then. Is there anything they're in here? I gotta go super slowly. Okay, they're blind. I gotta go super fucking slow. I can't move at all. I cannot move. Wait, be quiet.
What is that? What is this? Can I now? Just speaking. This is annoying. Okay. Well, I don't know where to go then. The vessel's somewhere around here. What if I just go back? Alright, we're going back. Okay, I guess we're restarting. Let's just. God damn it. Ah, oh, god damn it. Go back, 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 go Going back. No, come on, man. Oh, oh my God, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go insane. I'm so impatient when it comes to stuff like that. Just let me go through. How am I supposed to, how am I supposed to go through if I can't tell my, my ship where to go? How am I supposed to do that? 